Hi, Rob Papen here, and let me introduce you to Prisma. Prisma is a plugin that can layer up to four Rob Papen instruments for creating one new fresh sound. It has several pages, and the main page is the multi control page. There you can find the four faders to control the layers and their instruments. <music> Let's start at the top of the Prisma. There you can select the presets and the bank folders. Keep in mind that if you select a preset that it will take a short time to load. Each time you select another Prisma preset, the layer instruments and all their data needs to be loaded. Therefore the readout display mentions, loading, please wait. In the top section, you can select several pages inside Prisma. For example, the Bank Manager, which adds an overview in all the presets inside Prisma. I already mentioned the Multi-Control page. At the left side of the Multi-Control page, you can see the four layers and the other controls like the Instrument, the Volume, Panning and FX Sense. You can solo a layer and open the instrument user interface. But each of the layers have many more options and features and to access these you have to click on the layers icon. Inside each layer you will find an easy page, keyboard layout, EQ and MIDI filter. The easy page is a range of 12 faders which can edit the layer instrument. You can open the plugin in Prisma which is great if you like to do some deep editing of this layer instrument. But a range of important parameters we have already selected for you, so that you can change the sound very fast using these selected parameters. The easy page is very important and very flexible. First of all, if you hover above the name label and click with your mouse, you can see a menu. There you can select the default layout, but also save your own layout if you decide to use another parameter layout in this easy edit page. For instance, with punch, we made several pages. If you load punch as a layer instrument, the default page is then loaded. But you can also select one of the other presets, or simply make your own. To select another parameter, of the loaded instruments, simply go over this box. Click with the mouse and select the parameter. Since Rob Papen instruments do have a lot of parameters, this list is very long. By the way, the labels might look a bit small in these boxes below the faders. But if you hover with the mouse over the fader, they are also displayed in the readout screen of Prisma. Now then we talked about the multi control page of Prisma and the easy edit page is essential there. Because if you go now to the multi control page you can see the targets of these four faders. Well the targets are of each layer also the easy page controls of each of the layers. Now back to the layers page. The second subpage in each layer page is called Keyboard Layout. With the synthesizers you can transpose them. You can also set a keyboard range 
which is needed, of course, for making split layers. Then there is also a velocity range setting, which is also a very creative tool. Listen to this sound. So the keyboard layout is a creative tool for combining layers. But there is more, because the keyboard layout also has a punch mode. The moment you load punch, this punch page becomes active. It is the case that punch has in many presets grooves active. In fact, eight sequences are built into punch, which you can trigger using Prisma. Essentially, each is a four track sequencer that can pick one of the 24 punch sounds. In Prisma, each groove or break gets a keyboard range setting and velocity range setting. So Prisma not only allows you to stack synthesizers, but also to use rhythm drum grooves of punch inside of it. The next subpage in each layer is EQ. Stacking sounds can sometimes lead to conflict in some frequencies. So we added a three band EQ with an additional 12 dB low pass and high pass filter. And of course, we use the RPEQ algorithm for adding a top quality EQ. The last subpage is MIDI filter. In this page, you can filter certain MIDI controllers. You can shut down the modulation wheel information going to a certain layer or avoid pitch bend information going to a layer. Note that everything you do inside Prisma changing the layer page setting or changing the sound of the loaded instrument is saved within the Prisma preset. Also appearing in the upper section of Prisma is the FX section, which holds also a main EQ on the total sound of Prisma. Each Rob Harpen instrument has an FX on board, but if you use four instruments and each with their own reverb, it eats a lot more CPU compared to using one reverb inside Prisma. So therefore, we also added 4 FX, with all kind of top quality FX types. The way it is arranged, you can compare with a mixer. Within each layer, the FX sends to one of the 4 FX. In the lower section part of Prisma, you can find the EQ, which is set on the total sound. So in terms of control and sound shaping, Prisma is powerful by all means. Now let's go back to the multi-control page. This page makes Prisma very dynamic. Below each fader you can select four destinations for each fader. This can be volume, pan, one of the FX sand and the easy page of the layers. It is also the case that Prisma can MIDI latch most of the controls. 
So these four faders or the pan of the layers can be controlled by a MIDI hardware controller. Simply select the right mouse button and latch MIDI. If you have a nice setup, visit the back panel by clicking on the logo and save the setting you have to disk. As you can see, we already have a setting for the complete control keyboard. Also for the touch ask control for iOS or Android devices. Simply click the preset and it will load your setting. Well, reminds me to say that we have plenty great presets on board. And a nice trick is to shut down a layer to have variations. Or simply select another preset inside one of the instruments. Of course, creating your own Prisma presets is also fun. Start with the default preset, and once you have something cool, save it to the user preset folder, or create your own folder with presets. Of course, if you change a preset, always wise to save it to disk. <laughs> 